Hi, I'm Sohil Pasai, course instructor for Geotechnical Engineering 1. In this presentation, we will learn about degree of consolidation and time taken to achieve degree of consolidation. Degree of consolidation represents percentage completion of first degree at any instant of time. Theoretically, consolidation is completed in infinite time but Practically, it completes in certain finite time and degree of consolidation is found by three methods that is when settlement is given, second is when void ratio is given and when excess pore pressure is given. Now we will find out how to get the value of degree of consolidation when settlement is given. The degree of consolidation which is also known as consolidation ratio indicates the progress of consolidation at any time at the given location z in the compressible layer and it is the ratio of compression at any time t to total ultimate compression. So u in percentage can be written as equal to delta small letter h divided by delta capital H into 100. Delta small letter h is the compression at any time t which is also known as settlement of soil after time t and delta capital H is equal to total ultimate compression or it is also known as ultimate consolidation settlement when degree of consolidation is 100%. Ultimate consolidation settlement does not depend on drainage condition but Settlement at time t depends on drainage condition that is whether it is one way or two way drainage condition. So here we can see a clay layer which is in between a impermeable base that is it can be a rock and on top there is a permeable surface which can be either of air or sand. So water has to travel for a length of h. So h will become the total drainage part and it is referred to as one way drainage condition. But whereas in second figure we can see that there are permeable surfaces on bottom and also on top. On bottom there is sand surface and on top it can be either of air or again sand. So water travels for a length of h by 2 for top portion and h by 2 again for bottom portion. So here the drainage path will be h by 2 and it is referred to as two way drainage condition. And when void ratio is given u in percentage will be equal to E0 minus E divided by E0 minus EF into 100 where E0 is the initial void ratio at the center of the soil that is at the start of consolidation and EF is equal to final void ratio at the center of soil that is E100 at the end of consolidation and E is void ratio at any time T at the center of soil. At time t equal to 0, e will be equal to e0 and u will be equal to 0. And at time t equal to infinity, e will be equal to e100 and degree of consolidation will be equal to 100%. And when excess pore pressure is given, we can find out degree of consolidation by knowing ui which is initial excess pore pressure at the beginning of test that is at t equal to 0 and u which is equal to excess pore pressure after time t. So u in percentage will be equal to ui minus u divided by u into 100. At time t equal to 0 degree of consolidation will be equal to ui and u in percentage will be equal to 0 percent and at time t equal to infinity u will be equal to 0 and degree of consolidation will be equal to 100 percent. Now we will find out the time taken to achieve degree of consolidation. 
the time taken by two soils of different depths but with similar drainage for achieving the same degree of consolidation are proportional to the square of their depths so if there are two soils with similar drainage having depths h1 and h2 then time taken by the first soil t1 to achieve a particular degree of consolidation u and time taken by the second soil t2 to achieve same degree of consolidation u are given by the equation t1 divided by t2 which will be equal to h1 by h2 the whole square where u1 is equal to u2 thank you